All right, this is uh, this is sometimes what I refer to as the value barometer. Uh, what do I mean by that? In sales, it's oftentimes taught that what you want to do is you want the value to exceed the price. Um, and I, on here, I put price and risk in what we sell, right? So uh, what do I mean by that? All right, you go to the grocery store, you're really in the mood for some apples, right? So you're like, I'm gonna go get some apples. I really want some, they look good. I wanna get them. Um, so to you, they're, you know, they're pretty valuable, right? You wanna get these apples. But the price is here. They're like $10 apples. And so you're saying, well, the price is greater than the risk. So I'm not gonna endeavor in that. Uh, or, or I'm sorry, the price is greater than the value. Um, I'm not gonna do that. And so therefore, you just make that conscious decision that I would get apples if perhaps they were five dollars, because then you know the value would exceed the price, right? It's a pretty simple concept. Okay, so uh, now with every sale, there there's a point where that happens. It doesn't happen immediately on the doorstep. Uh, the reason I put risk up here is because with with what we're doing, the price is typically lower than what they're currently paying. Um, or it's the same or close, but the, the other side, the other factor that creates tension and is a buying decision is their risk. So if they're looking at it and saying, I, I like the fact that my, the power would be cheaper, but man, this is risky. This 20 year contract and I may not be able to move and my roof and all a number of different things, right? All the objections. So if, if you're going into it saying, I want to make sure, I want to, uh, you know, I got to get, I got to go, I got to baby step it along before I, I, I inject any sort of risk, right? So what, are, what could be the risky points that we inject, right? Well, scheduling a site survey to them could be risky because they, they, it could feel like they're making a commitment. Um, getting, getting payment, getting signatures, uh, getting all these things. You know, if, if you were to knock on the door and say, hey, I'm, I, we're here to sign you up for a 20 year agreement to sell you power, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, I just need you to sign here. I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna sell many people doing it that way, right? That's why obviously we go through the process. But as a salesman, there there's a and, and you get a feel for this with time. It doesn't happen right away. Uh, you'll get a feel for it where you know, okay, this customer is fully on board. Um, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna progress this thing along. But it is still very important that you you make sure that you're still you they have the value, they see it's there, but you've got to you got to support it. You got to support it with logic and with why we're doing this the way we are. So, so one thing that, that you always gotta consider is in the house, whether it's on the first visit or when you go back to do the CAD, that you're always keeping in, in check what the value is versus, versus the risk. And so that's why you ask pointed questions, you wanna get them talking, right? Um, you know, you'll get at the door, you know, you, you, you'll discuss a number of things and you know, the reason, so like, like Jordan teaches, uh, that, that you're giving a lesson, right? You're, 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 people don't know much about solar. So your job is to explain solar, uh, the product, the problem, uh, and then the solution, right? Because we have a really good solution. A lot of people don't realize the problem. Uh, and so part of getting the, the problem is, is you, you identify it, uh, you identify the solution, which again, we can go into the, the, the numerous solutions that th this creates, but uh, but it's also but all you're doing in that is you're creating value and and therefore once you've kind of checked off you know like let's say each step in the sale you know you've got the, the, the you're committing them to the site survey right so here's you know so the SS you're committing them to the site survey uh, you're getting that you know the PPA signed right you're getting payment um, you know you're, you're getting you know you, you, you know you're getting uh, you know you're getting a commitment for us to, you know, to pull a permit, you're getting an approved CAD. You don't, you can't do all these right away. You have to go piece by piece. So we're gonna, you know, we'll go into what are some soft closes. That's another thing I'll, I'll, I'll probably train on here. Uh, but when you, when you go, you need to use these soft closes as sort of checkpoints is where are they with their value, right? Where are, where are, where, how are they feeling about what we're doing so far? And so you just wanna make sure that whatever you do, um, in, in every scenario that the, the value uh, is exceeding the price in their mind or the risk, right? So that you know, that, and this is this is obviously greater uh, because if if you're dropping things too soon, 
then you have a higher, higher chance of losing that customer because now all of a sudden they feel like, oh no, uh, oh, what do we commit to? What are we doing? Oh no, is this the right thing? This went a little too fast, right? We're not trying to jam something down their throat. Uh, we, this, the value's there. We all know it's there. And, it's, and perception is, is huge because what we perceive as valuable, they don't. So we need to make sure that what, whatever we're, we're, we're doing throughout the process, that we're always kind of taking the temperature, you know, the barometer, so to speak, on, on where the value is at and, and how, they, how they feel about it. And again, you do that a lot through questions. You open it up. You let them talk to you. Um, and, then, and then you try to identify what their needs are and present the, the problem or the solution.